No, absolutely not. Definitely don't overthink it. Yeah, it does take practice, I must say. <laughs> it's destructive to do so. It can be destroying to allow those things to affect you, to allow those, you know, people's negative opinions and negative ideas to, to influence you, your thoughts about yourself. That can be most detrimental of all. I think over time it's easier dealing with building yourself up in a way that doesn't uh, allow it to penetrate you in a way that makes you think negatively about yourself or your work or what you're pursuing in life. I think that over, over the long term is an easier thing to, to build up, you know, that resistance against negativity. I think that's easier than dealing with uh, the effects of, you know, being soul destroyed by people's opinions of you. Realizing that you allowed outside forces to affect you and, and your opinions about your work and what you already know to change your mind. I think over a long term that's more destructive looking back thinking that it's not even, it's, it wasn't even true, it's just what I allowed people to influence, you know, in my mind. You're just basing it on someone's opinion who doesn't even necessarily have any expertise or any real, you know, education in, this, in the subject or thing you're doing. They just have an opinion about it which is not valid in anything, not grounded in any real substance of anything, you know, it's just an opinion someone's just put out there and it's affected you or, or you've allowed it to. And then looking back when the time has passed, I think that can be more destroying to you than, you know, just dismissing it as, as, as just what it is. Uh, an opinion that uh, that's, stands on nothing. Someone I grew up listening to called Tony Robbins, or Anthony Robbins if you like, um, talks about standing guard at the door of your mind. How important that is to uh, protect yourself against that. Because there's going to be the naysayers, there's going to be negative people, there's going to be people who talk you down and tell you you can't do it, or it's not good enough. And this standing guard at the door of your, your own mind is, is protecting you against that. A lot of people leave their door open and unguarded and they allow these people's opinions and stuff to get in there and affect the way they think about themselves. And I think it's a good thing to, to keep in mind that you have to stand guard at the door of your mind. You have to be there to guard uh, yourself from that, those things, those things that can, you know, get in there and play with you, your, your thoughts about yourself and your work and your, your, you know, what you're capable of. It is about the conversation you have with yourself most definitely and that must always be positive 100% and not allowing anything external to influence that if it's not beneficial to the way you're thinking about it, to that positive thinking. Not allowing anything in that's negative that's going to counteract that. That's what the whole standing guard thing is, being, pr protecting that internal voice and making sure that that internal voice is positive in the direction that you want to go. It's about positive internal dialogue, working on that, keeping that positive 100%, like it, keeping yourself exposed to positive information, to positive energy, to positive voices and sounds and influences and shutting out everything that opposes those. Being in control of that dialogue, what you let in. It's not easy to do, it's very hard, it's difficult, it takes practice, but what's more difficult is dealing with the fact that, wow, look what's happened. I've let all this negativity or outside external forces and elements and voices affect me and it stopped me from doing what I knew was right and I wanted to do and I could have succeeded in if I just had shut that door and kept them out and told myself what I already know that I can do this, I'm capable and I can achieve this and I'm good enough as I am. That's harder to deal with because then you're looking back in regret. It takes time and it's not easy but I know what's harder. I know which I prefer. <laughs> it's light work when you think of it that way. <laughs> just don't take it on board. Just focus on that internal dialogue that allows you to do what you want to do in, in the most positive way. Stand guard at the door of your mind. If it's not positive, don't let it in. You're not coming in. Your name's not positive, you're not coming in. <laughs> Over time it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and easy to do until the point where it becomes automatic. You see it from a distance. Just only let in the positive stuff, man.